Okay. Um, the economy seems to be in the dumper. Gee, that's a surprise. Um, Mr. Bush gives all of his uh, corporate buddies the, the wave. They don't have to pay any taxes. And, and he puts us into two stupid wars. Or the American politicians put us into two stupid wars that is consuming our economy. And they're saying, well, it's making it boom. No, it's not. No, it's not. Not unless you're going to take the oil that you're stealing out of Iraq and instead of selling it to us, give it to us because you went in and got it. But um, the the economy, the, the dollar's getting weaker, the, the, and we've bailed out the banks. Now let's see. Let's see how this works. We've got banks, that are, and they have credit cards. Now my credit card, if I'm 1.23 seconds late, maybe even less than that, my interest rate goes up. My interest rate can go up into the 20s now, 20%, that is what I hear. We've had them as high as 19 when we were in some credit crunch stuff going on. But here's an institution that illegally and morally charges 19 to 20% interest rates, and they can't keep their books together enough to stay afloat. Then the government says we should buy the, we should bail them out. We should get them out of trouble because they're too big to fail. My thing, let them fail. Give us back our money. Make them give us back our money. Put it towards education. Put it towards health care, real health care. We'll talk about that later. But... Put it towards education. Educate our kids. You know, give them something worthwhile. Let them grow up and be imaginative. Keep their minds open so that they can be creative and stimulate an economy that works. But let the systems fail. Everything that is failing needs to fail right now. And artificially holding up isn't going to work. The money is such a big illusion. I mean, if you think about it, you know, pieces of paper with somebody's picture on them, I give you a few and you go, well, thank you very much. You paid your debt. It's like, hmm. There were pieces of paper. But it's gotten even sillier now with the credit cards. You slide your credit card into a machine, it comes back out, nothing's missing, except they say from here we took that to there, and it's all an illusion. And then if you don't watch it carefully, they will elude you out of a lot of money. But let's let them fail. Let's let them drop. I don't care whether there's a bank on every corner. I don't care if there's an ATM. Somebody that knows how to run business will take them over. That's for sure. That's the way business, that's called capitalism. Right? But if the banks can fail, let them fail. Don't bail them out. Use the money to rebuild the country. Use the money to quit buying guns and nuclear shit. Gee whiz, come on, let's wake up.